Hello, beautiful people. So today we're going to be talking about emotional intelligence or emotional freedom. I'm sure you have heard Violet talking about this lately, and it is a very huge topic, especially right now. Things have been crazy and it can be very difficult to take the emotions out of when you lose a sale or when you win a sale. So a lot of salespeople have high highs and low lows, and it is so difficult to navigate when it feels so bipolar. So one thing that I want to highly recommend is that you really take time to understand where these are coming from and understand that sometimes we don't get the sale, but sometimes people come back and we get it later because it wasn't appropriate at that time. So maybe focusing on what you're doing right for the client and doing it right every time. And sometimes you're gonna win, sometimes you're gonna lose, but overall you're doing your best and you really need to focus on the fact that you're doing your best. And also you will get more referrals from people if you are consistent and really presenting in a way that shows you are confident in what you're doing and also believing in yourself. So when you believe in yourself and you present in that way, people are gonna pick up on that energy. And who knows, maybe it's gonna turn into more sales, but having those really highs, highs and low lows are just not good for your health. It's not good for any, any part of your being. So take a deep breath before each presentation and once that presentation is done, take note of the things that you did really well and take note of the things that you may want to change for future presentations, but really get to the point where you take the emotion out of it and know that everything's going to work out in the end. Um, one big thing too is not taking things personally. I don't know about you, but it took a long time for me to realize that people aren't doing things because in spite of me, they do things for themselves. And if you can take that out of the equation, then it's going to be a lot easier. Um, so one thing I recommend is the four agreements. I will make on this post, I will link to the book and um, I will also link a interview that I recently did in one of my webinars where we talk about all of these things. So really take care of yourselves, take a deep breath and know that you don't have to have these low lows and high highs. It is a choice. We have a choice in the way that things impact us. And I would love to say that it never happens to me, but it does. And I take note of it and understand where it came from why I got triggered, and then move forward. So I know you have it in you to make the changes that you need to make in order to be prosperous every day and have confidence in what you're doing. So until next time, have a great day. Bye.